Hi guys! So, nandito na tayo ngayon sa, well, almost, sa Sassi de Madera. But look at that backdrop. Grabe. Sobrang grabe yung feeling. Para ako, para ako nag-time machine. It felt like I traveled back in time. Looking at this place, I literally have no words to describe this place. It's so fantastic. Museo de los Cabo so 3 euros lang naman siya so apparently this place can be used as a storage of wine so you could see the green jars so dyan nila nilalagay yung wine basically they're still doing the traditional way like the pressing of the grapes may mga batang aapak doon like they use their feet and stomp on the grapes para makuha yung patas and also as you can see from above there's a hole, right? So apparently, the purpose of that hole is it also allows in fresh air, which is very important, especially if you're fermenting wine. Hindi mo siya pwedeng gawin na closing space, kasi during fermentation it's dangerous. For example, you're a worker and then you enter the room where you're fermenting the wine, and then when opening don, you could die of carbon dioxide poisoning. So yeah. Okay, here's another part of the museum. So. Apparently, this one behind my back is um, it's a natural silo where they store um, the grain, barley, oats, you know, those, uh, those types. So how does it work? As you can see, it's bell shaped. So they put all the grain in there. What they will do is um, they will light a flame up there. There. Yeah. And then, they will yun ang bato. And then the flame will keep burning, consuming all the oxygen within. Kapag namatay na siya, that means all the oxygen has been used up, which means all the greens that were put here, they can be preserved for several other years to come. So it's actually a very clever invention. Hi guys, so currently tayo ay nasa Ponte Santibetano So it's a hanging bridge as you can see As you can see, I'm moving um, We're now heading to our last destination here in Matera It's basically a view deck up above the mountains So like over there Yeah, we're gonna climb that up And then after that, we're gonna return there So yeah challenging if you're not used to hiking or trekking but I really recommend you do this because um the views up there are fantastic anyway see you at the top it has been a while since I crossed the hanging bridge I think the last time I did was when I was still in the Philippines seeing the magnificent views around me it got me thinking the preservation efforts made to ensure that the future generations will see the ancient beauty of Matera is truly heartwarming. I would genuinely wish the same efforts can be done for my country. Yes guys, nag-hike ako nag-ito yung suot A few moments later. Hi guys, so nandito na tayo ngayon sa Belvedere, sa view deck ng city of Madera and hold your breath because I'm about to show you something so cool Hi guys, so currently I just got down from 
the view deck and um, it was so amazing up there you could see the entire city of Madeira and it's really 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 beautiful like words can't describe what I thought when I was there anyway I'm a bit tired because like I basically hike so <laughs> and again I hike with this outfit yes that's true I know I told you that yung view deck yung last, but since I have time to kill, um, I decided to add another place pwedeng makuntahan with the time that I have. So now, nandito tayo sa Piazza del Duomo. If you saw yung videos ko of the whole city of Matera and nakita nyo yung tower na nasa pinakataas, ito yun. Ito yung church na yun. So, yan. Yeah. Yung tower na yun, part sya ng church na to. And um, I could see another view of the city from here. So, there you go. So, I still have one hour, two hours actually, before my bus to Barri arrives. That's why I've decided na so I'm gonna make a party with some here. Walking along the immemorial streets of Madera made me realize something. While my time here is finite, the memories of bliss that I had here will forever stay with me. Just like this city, this ancient city that withstood the test of time. Hi guys, so yeah, that concludes our trip. So, so proud, so proud, thankful ako. For being able to do this trip, sorry, hindi nga lako. Leg day dito, nami hagdan. My goodness. But anyway, going back, I could say that this trip was perfect. Wala kong hihilingin pa. Parang lahat ng gusto kong mangyari at makita na experience ko with this trip. Thank you so much for following my adventures. I hope sa mga susunod kong biyahe, ewan ko kung kailan ulit yun. You keep on following me. So yeah. If you like this video, subscribe, follow, everything. Yeah, so my, my handle on Instagram is Clark Galapin. I upload all my photos there, so if you wanna check out the photos that I did during my trip, just follow me. It's in public anyway, so you can see the photos that I upload. Yeah. Again, thank you so much. This is my first vlog, by the way, and I'm only 27 years old. Charot. <laughs> if you have some comments, violent reactions, you know, suggestions, recommendations, feel free to comment down below and tell me so that I can improve my content in the near future. So once again, this has been Clark Tyro, or as I would like to call this channel, Traveling Tyro. For now. Arrivederci, goodbye. Thank you everyone and have a nice day. Hi guys. So yeah, you're right. You want to go to the bus? I'm going to go to the bus.